Hello everyone, it's Monday the 29th of November. The time is 11.18 a.m. And the temperature is somewhere between minus 18 and minus 20 Celsius. My watch is showing uh, minus 18 at the moment, but I also saw minus 20, so pretty cold in any case, we can call it pretty cold. We are on the shore of Lake Oulunjärvi, Oulu Lake, and uh, in a part called Karhun Salmi, Bear Bay. And the place we are in is called Baltaniemi. Around here, that's the lake over there. Around here is the uh, replica of the home of poet Eino Leino, who is very famous in Finland. And this is a kind of sort of just a reconstruction of a older house. And uh, Baltaniemi has uh, this kind of a museum area with a really nice church and some older buildings. And the plan is to just walk around here in this lovely winter landscape and uh, have a look at some of those older buildings on a very cold winter's day. We are near the city of Kajaani. So we are in Kainu. <laughs> no, that probably doesn't say much. We're still in the middle of Finland. Sort of towards the northern part now. This is just a really lovely view over the lake here. I'll just uh, show you this. There's still some water flowing there. You could go down here and uh, make your way towards the lake. But the lake has snow on it. You can see it's not fully frozen because there are sort of areas where you can see the water coming through the snow, but the snow has kind of settled on, on top there. Lovely view. Very wintry today. Also love these um, trees with the frost on them and the snow on them. Makes for a really lovely landscape. Not a lot of people have been through here. The museum here is closed for winter. I think it's more of a summer thing. But it makes for a really lovely landscape with the older houses here. Looks really nice in the snow. I think there's a bear under the snow there. The children's playground. And the trees are all really wintry and snowy as well. Oh, I want to take this this path through. This would be a, I think, a place you could normally visit. Museum. And here's a statue of Eino Leino, the poet and writer. I think we still even have a part of his poem in our Finnish passports. A very beautiful one. Talks about uh, going away but then coming back like the swans. I've always really liked that since they introduced it. There are some old farmhouse buildings at the back there. Very traditional kind of look. There's even a little map of the area around here. But we'll only, uh, we'll only go through a little bit to the church. This is Einolena's house here on the sign. That's quite pretty as well, isn't it? Looks nice even in the snow. And this is sort of how you uh, recognize when you're driving around 
that a place is of importance, a museum or a cultural place. You can see the signs. So I'm going to uh, walk here on the side of the road. It's not very busy here. And there's a daylight, so not much of an issue. Of course, uh, with the snow, while they do clear the streets, you don't have much of a pedestrian sidewalk left. Just walk where, where you can. Look out for the cars. The trees surrounding that house are also really beautiful. And uh, some people even walking their dog here. So it's an area where people live. And there are houses around. There's a chapel around here, I think, a newer chapel. But we'll go and see the old church. The graveyard is there, that's attached to the church. So I think we could probably go through here, but I'm not at all sure that they've uh, cleared any of the snow around the uh, areas there. It's a really lovely place though with all the uh, all the trees. You can hear the snow as well. I don't know if you can, but I can. So snow doesn't really make any sound as it falls. Sometimes hear that from people in walking videos. The sound of snow, I've always wondered about it. The sound of snow is more when you walk. And uh, sometimes when it's freezing or animals move in the snow. Here's a... Uh, lovely older storage building fairly traditional look I imagine that's a storage building it looks like it we call them Aita and on the other side it's just residential buildings really and uh, space <laughs> a field maybe it might be a it's just a plot of grassland as well there's lots of space around these areas. Not everything is built up. I guess these are quite small towns, obviously. So here's this uh, traditional looking storage building. Oh, that's my best guess for it anyway. Quite nice in the snow. The sun is really low, so it almost looks like a sunset, even though it's midday. And here's another one of these old buildings. I think this one has been protected from the snow. Oh, this is a stable. It says it was built on another place. And it has to do with Alexander the First, who I think visited here. And then it was moved around here. It's a little bit difficult to make out what the text actually said, but I think it had to, it had definitely had to do with the visit of Alexander I, who did visit here. So that's what that was. And here's the church from 
I want to say 1726, replaced the church that burned down before that. And this area has had residents since the 1500s. So it's very sort of a old town. Let me check the exact date for the church. Seventeen twenty-six. Yeah, you can probably see the sun a little bit behind there as well. It's a pretty lovely view. I'll get a view of the church from sort of a in front there. More traditional buildings over there and uh, further on as well. I walk over to the church. It's a lovely, lovely little village, especially in these winter views. Really beautiful. And the uh, tower here, where they would have the bell, has a really lovely sun shape in front so here you can probably see let me just uh, make sure that that's as visible as possible you can kind of see how the sun is really low and that interesting interesting light just above the trees it's really cool here is a uh, more on Ainole, El, no, Elias Lernwood actually. He was here as well. So a very uh, very interesting area with lots of connections to Finnish history because uh, Elias Lernwood, of course. Uh, created Kalevala, or he didn't write it as such, he collected the stories from the people around here. So he would go around and talk to people about uh, the traditional stories and uh, help get them on paper to create Kalevala, which is kind of the Finnish national story and here we have the uh, lovely church it's an area with a lot of important connections for the Finns our language. I think there's a Christmas tree that's supposed to go up soon. It's just waiting there. And this is the bell tower. Lovely wooden buildings. I'll just have a look at the uh, cemetery behind here as well. These lovely old crosses. Often very old. Sorry, my horizon was a little bit low there. And uh, here we get to a very calm and traditional looking Finnish forest, which is also the uh, cemetery here and the sun at the back. A 
around Christmas people probably will bring candles. It will be really lovely in the snow. It's kind of a tradition as well in Finland. These trees seem fairly old as well. So a lovely, lovely older historical area to wander around. like the shape of the tower there. It's just a very unique older building which will be lovely around Christmas time as well once they get the Christmas tree up and uh, I'm sure people will bring some candles. It's very rare to have a, an area like this where you can get a feel for what it might have been like. Some hundreds of years ago. Let's have a look at the uh, memorial over here. Oh, it's a bit deeper snow than I thought. <laughs> I think it does say uh, it's for the memory of the people who have died of hunger over there. It's a bit difficult to make out, but I think that's what it is. So, uh, a lot of history around this area. Some of it always sad, of course. and some footprints of uh, wildlife there. Rabbit has gone through. I think this might be lights. What a lovely view that would be to see the lights uh, sort of lighting up this uh, area and the church. Right now we're having a natural light display there with the sun. Let's see if I can uh, show you that behind the trees. It might not be. The Pocket 2 camera doesn't always get the sky as well as I'd like. I'll uh, get a little bit clearer view of it. You can see it's not really, uh, it hasn't been winter for that long. Because you can still see some of the plants. And these would just be modern wood houses now, residential buildings. So let's uh, have a look at the sky here. That's pretty impressive with a lovely view of the Finnish countryside. So I think that was a really special walk. I'm going to keep it short because uh, it is really cold. <laughs> Minus 20 is, uh, yeah, you feel it for sure. We call it, uh, well, English has frostbite as well, but we call it, call it basically a, a biting freezing temperature. You can feel it on your cheeks. <laughs> and if you're not uh, properly dressed for the weather, then for sure it is going to feel through your clothes as well. What a lovely view of the countryside here. Anyway, I really liked the walk. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you'd like to see more walks for a little bit in these uh, winter landscapes and then after sort of, uh, or in January at some point, and uh, while we're here as well, I'm going to start posting more from Singapore, where I usually record these walks. 
on side to return. So, whether you'd like to see these Finland walks or you'd like to see something from Singapore or you'd like to see both, then you can subscribe to the channel and uh, get notifications on when new videos are up on the channel. That's two very different worlds. <laughs> But um, that's also kind of interesting, the contrast we have with the two of them. So thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, I hope I'll see you again soon.